Hello everyone. Welcome to Groovy Tech Academy. This is your host Abdul Majid Mangri. Today we are going to learn how to create a capture screen utility in Java using robot class. And we have a feature like to play capture sound in Java and we will learn how to customize JFrame, make it a bit user friendly, movable for this utility. And in the last, we will learn like uh, mouse events in Java. So this will be our logo and uh, let's get started. I've already created a, a screen capture project in Eclipse, a Java project. We are going to open it. Uh, we will go in the SRC folder. For we have a class. So uh, we will start uh, step by step. Like for for the first step, we are going to create the JFrame. So I have uh, created an instance of JFrame, and uh, this is a default constructor where I have initialized the JFrame. Like for instance, here we are just uh, initializing it, de uh, defining it. We are setting the layout. And that is going to be the grid big layout. And we are setting it undecorated, set visible, uh, set content, so on. So basically just uh, uh, let's get started. Uh, this is a <clears throat> class. So when we will start it, uh, this is the constructor. Uh, this is going to execute and um, create a, a JFrame in front of us. So, Let's see what's uh, what comes next. So here we have set uh, the content pen. So we have, we have uh, set a picture as a label to this uh, JFrame, and uh, uh, we have also added some events, mouse events. So we will discuss it later. And uh, furthermore, we are setting the shape of the frame. Like we have set it in a pie shape. Um, it's going to be round. Like mostly when we are creating the JFrame, it is mostly like a dialog box, a rectangular one. But in our case, we are setting everything um, um, like we are customizing it. So let's uh, try to run this and see what happens. Okay. So uh, over here, this is our JFrame. I've customized it. And uh, <clears throat> here we have set it uh, like undecorated. Uh, basically what undecorated uh, does is like uh, when we have that uh, dialog box, we have its header where we have the title and everything. So if we uh, put like set undecorated equals to true, so it is going to uh, remove that. And furthermore, uh, we have set a picture on that. So um, we can uh, set it on a label uh, by um, applying this image icon and we have placed this uh, pick uh, in our folder structure um, and then we are just setting the shape of that uh, JFrame. So we have set the coordinates, uh, coordinates here um, and furthermore uh, we have uh, set the size and uh, then the location related to. Basically um, for instance um, if we just commit this uh, relative to save it. Let's try to run it. So uh, our logo, our JFrame is going to generate at this position, right? So um, if we put set location relative to, so uh, what basically it does like uh, it is going to automatically put it in the center of the screen. Okay. So <clears throat> that's all regarding this JFrame. If we try to run this, so our main constructor constructor is getting executed, and uh, we have this JFrame here. It's undecorated. We have set a picture on that, and uh, the shape of it is customized. Like we have uh, rounded it, the shape uh, which is set here. So that was the first step. So let's go for the second step. <clears throat> Over here, as you as you uh, know about the JFrame, like uh, we need to extend it um, over here in our class. 
So um, apart from that, we have also implemented some of the interfaces, uh, like for instance, a mouse motion listener and mouse listener. So basically these are the interface in Java to listen the events of uh, mouse movement. Okay. So over here in our JFrame, we have also uh, binded our JFrame with that motion listener. Okay. So when we implement, uh, we just write the name of this interfaces automatically we are going to get uh, these methods created implemented like uh, mouse click mouse pressed mouse release mouse enter exited mouse dragged moved so uh, these are the all different uh, um, mouse events like for instance if you run the if you execute our uh, program so all these events are going to work, but we are not defining any other events. We just uh, need two of them. Like one is like mouse clicked and the other one is like uh, mouse drag. Okay. So uh, for the mouse drag, like for instance, let's try to run it. When we are running it automatically here, we have already binded uh, add mouse motion listener, these two events to our JFrame. So our JFrame is binded with the mouse motion. So for instance, let's try to drag it. See, we I have uh, I'm uh, dragging it, and uh, the coordinates are getting updated. So uh, while I'm dragging it, the event listener is uh, listening to my moves. Like uh, here, we are setting the x and y of the screen. It's like the x's and y's of the screen. So we are setting those coordinates, which we are getting from this event, mouse uh, drag event. So we are setting those to J frame, which we have just created uh, this one. So when we are uh, moving, dragging the object, so it's setting the coordinates uh, of this J frame. So wherever we are going to drag it, uh, it's supposed to go, okay? So there's something like uh, mouse dragged. And uh, other than that, um, we have mouse clicked. So when we click on this uh, JFrame, this icon, so it's basically just like a widget. Uh, basically, it's uh, used to uh, capture the screen. Uh, mostly, we used to, uh, when we are working, we mostly need a widget to uh, capture the screen rather than opening up uh, the softwares and all these things. So this is a handy thing. So over here, uh, in our mouse click, we have a, we are calling a method which is capture a screen. So let's go further here. So uh, first step was to create the J frame. We just created that. We know like uh, how to do that. And uh, we have set uh, all the coordinations and all the um, uh, attributes. And the second step uh, was like uh, uh, binding it to with the mouse listener. So that was the second step. We just saw like uh, we can do that by implementing these uh, interfaces and binding our JFrame with these events. So we, we are going to get these methods and we can use later on use them. Like for instance, we are using the mouse drag um, and the, the other one uh, right now, which we are going to use is mouse click. So now uh, the third and the final step is like uh, we are on mouse click, we are calling this method screen capture. So over here, we are using robot class and we are creating a path. Like for instance, in our my local uh, D, uh, this is a path and this is going to be name. And uh, uh, just to give it a bit uniqueness, we are putting, uh, we are using this get time. So every time when we are going to create a screen capture, so for each uh, file, the image, we are going to have a unique time um, time format so that uh, we don't get our uh, captured screen replaced. So the images and over here, we are just comparing like, for instance, if this directory is not created, please create it. And then uh, going forward, this was all about uh, uh, directory and uh, robot class. So uh, here is what we are, uh, which is capturing the screen. Like we are using the rectangular, um, um, and the default screen size. And then uh, we are just uh, setting up, like uh, applying it to the robot class, like create a screen capture. Like in this row, 
we have just uh, picked up the screen and we have passed it to um, the create screen capture method of robot class. And then finally, we are writing it to a file location. And that is going to be this one. Okay. So this was all about uh, creating the file location and uh, picking up the screen and passing it to robot um, class to capture it and then uh, writing it to this location, right? Uh, going further, we have also added a function like play capture sound just to uh, spice it up. Like when we are clicking our widget to capture the screen, we are going to have a capture sound to that. So let's go in this method over here. I've used this library like audio input stream. And then in the, in the input of that, I have given this file like sound clip um, that is going to be um, uh, later on called here, like uh, open and start. So this is going to play the sound in Java. So we have plenty of uh, other also uh, other ways to play uh, music in Java. This is one of them. So we are, uh, we, it is supposed to play the capture sound. So folks, that was all. So let's try to run it and see the final output. We are running it. So we know like uh, this is our customized JFrame and uh, we have put the mouse events to it. We can drag it. Okay. So, and for instance, we can put it anywhere in the screen. And for instance, I want to capture the screen. So just go and click on this. Okay, so we also got a uh, sys logout, like a, a screenshot saved, and we just heard a uh, capture sound as well. I don't know, like, uh, are you people are able to listen to that? But when I'm clicking it, it is, and when I'm clicking it, it's capturing a image and also making a capture sound. So let's go on this uh, directory to see that uh, our, our files are getting created. So let's go there. Okay. So over here, as you can see, we have the file name is Groovy Tech Academy creation. And then in the bracket, we have the time. Uh, the purpose of this was to make it unique so that uh, the files don't get replaced due to having the same name. Let's try to open it. You can see, okay, this was the first one, like uh, where we just captured the screen. Okay. And uh, then let's go for the second one. Okay, so this was the second one, the first and this the second one. So uh, this was all like uh, today we learned like uh, uh, <clears throat> in Java, we learned like uh, how to use this uh, robot class, we can uh, we can do a uh, plenty of other functions. Uh, we can also use a plenty of other functions of robot class. Like we can also um, like create a mouse um, events. Like for instance, um, um, like for instance, we can create a, um, a Java program on which uh, we can set the mouse on the arrows. Like on the arrow up, the mouse is supposed to go up. If uh, we set it for the down, down. Also, we can you control the mouse and the screen. Um, like, uh, uh, if you just want, like, uh, for after each minute, my mouse should go on the right side. So the automatic, if you set it in that class, so it is supposed to automatically go that way. Or we can, it's uh, something like uh, automation type thing. So there are plenty of other features also uh, related to this robot class, like this one, which we, I just use like uh, a screen capture. So it's a worth uh, trying thing. So let's try uh, in the future. We will again uh, explore further features of this robot class in Java. And then we use the play sound in Java. And we also know how to, uh, we learn like how to customize this JFrame in Java and also the mouse events, which we just uh, set it up for this utility. So uh, this was all folks, stay tuned, like, uh, uh, please subscribe, like, and forward this uh, video to all your friends and feed. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.